Hi guys and dear followers! Welcome back! Today I'm very proud that we're taking a look at our first X-Star diving light actually in the channel. We're gonna take a look at the D30 1600 lumens new video diving light actually from X-Star. This is actually not even out on the market and it's quite a nice light. I'm already giving you this from as a heads up. So it's the first X-Star light I'm actually taking a look at and I'm very happy with it. The package itself comes quite nice. It illustrates of course what's inside and also in the back we have already a very big and detailed um, description of what the light actually offers more or less like like it is in the user manual. Now let's open the package and the package is actually quite nice to open because we have a magnet strip in there which holds the whole thing together and in the package we already have some manuals. So we have a user manual for our light as well as a user manual for the charger. I'm not going to take a look at them now but of course I always advise you to take a read through them. The light itself is the next thing out of the package and here we have the X-Star D30. Now I have never used an X-Star pre previous prior to this one and I'm actually very happy with what they have produced and with what they have designed here. We have a very nice design in terms of light, we have a spacious battery um, compartment which can fit up to the 26650 battery so it's quite a big and high capacity battery. We have a nice magnet switch which is lockable, this is a very nice thing, something I really enjoy in it because other magnet switches I've been using they don't they don't have a locking mechanism and you can switch them on by accident so that's quite a nice thing and of course we have also a power indicator just above it it works in two colors red or green we have a nice protective rubber band in the um, front part of the light so if you lay it down and so on it will scratch it a little bit less as it protects it a bit and now in the front we have actually have a nice array of LEDs we have a very nice white LED, it's a Cree XPE, if I'm not completely wrong, it actually says here. It's a Cree, um, it's actually a um, XHP35HI, so without a dome. And then we have a couple of red, a couple of blue, and a couple of UV LEDs. So that's actually quite a nice array we see here. Um, I mean, I would fancy maybe a little bit of a stronger white LED, maybe something like the XHP50 or maybe even the 70. We could have a little bit more light than just 1600 lumens, but in general we have a very, very nice light here. Now, what comes also in the package by side the light in the manuals, we have a little additional compartment here where we have some small stuff inside. So first of all, we get actually an adapter to also use the 18650, so the smaller batteries. Then, of course, we also have a spare set of O-rings to use in the light, as well as a lanyard. I mean, this comes standard in all diving lights. Good to have the matching part, a matching pair of O-rings, actually, to use if those go bad one day. And then we also have the MC1 um, Plus or Pro Charger, which is their newest charger, single... Um, well, let's say single unit charger, and depending on where you're getting this, you may also have a 26650 from XStar included. Those, as far as I've been seeing other reviews from other, um, let's say, divers and even from their uh, non-diving series, they have some very good batteries, all of them protected, so it's also a good package you're getting there. Mine came without one. The charger itself is quite a good USB charger, it has a nice indicator on the top, and it actually works quite well. But we're not here for the charger, so let's put that thing aside. Now, the light, as I told you, it works um, with different colors, and this is what we're actually here to take a look at them and see how they use. So as I've been already telling you, we actually have a very nice design and I like it. And this is actually one of the things I'm talking about. We have two nice O-rings sitting right next to each other. We have a nice distance to the actual thread. And only after that we have the thread. The thread looks very clean and also in there we have nice and gold plated at least spring-loaded contacts, which is a very good thing to have. Now we can use two types of battery in here. We can actually use the thicker 26650, which fits easily in there, or we can, and what I'm going to use now, we can use the 18650, which is a bit of smaller, maybe a bit least, so less capacity, but still works perfectly in these lights. Then in this case, just use the adapter, and you can also use the 18650s if you have those laying around. The positive pole always goes towards the driver in these lights. You're going to close the light down and as soon as it's closed and the thread actually works quite nicely, smoothly, as soon as it's closed, you can already turn the light on. By pressing the switch once, you're turning on the high output on the video light in this case. It's quite a wide angle as it is a video light. It is around 120, 130 um, degrees of light beam. And if you press the switch again, we have the mid mode. To tell you just the lumen outputs, we're going to take a look here in our nice user manual. And in terms of lumens, we have a high mode with 1600 lumens, we have a mid mode with 800 lumens, as well as a low mode with around 400 lumens. Now, at the moment, we're having the 800 lumen mode. If we press again, we are in the lowest mode, around 400 lumens, and if we press again, the light is off. Now you're going to probably be asking you, how the hell do I get 
to those nice color LEDs, and most of all, your question is probably can I use the white as well as the colored LEDs at the same time? And yes, you can. That's actually a nice thing. If the light is turned off and you keep the switch, um, sorry, if you press the switch then twice very quickly, you get into the actual color modes. Like now you have the red color, if you press again you have the blue color, and if you press again you have the UV color. Alright? Press again, the light is off. To get the two colors mixed together, you need to turn the white color on. Let's just put that on mid so we can recognize the other color. And then, as soon as you have your white setting, which can be the high, mid or low, doesn't matter which one, yours on, you just keep the switch pressed until the color comes, or the, in this case, the color comes into the whole mixture. So at the moment we have the white as well as the red, it's a bit hard to show you, but we have the white and the red on at the moment, maybe you can recognize it like that. And very interesting is that we can also, in this type of, um, let's call it, um, mixture, we can go through the different colors without losing the white. So at the moment we have the blue one, sorry we don't actually, this is how you get out. So you're gonna keep the switch pressed to get into the colors and to change between the colors you need to keep the switch pressed. So now we have the blue and now we have the UV on. And if you keep it pressed you're always gonna cycle through. To get out of there you just press it once and you're just in the white mode. So it's a bit a bit tricky at the beginning, but it's actually a super nice way to make it because you can choose before you put the colors on which white setting, which of the three modes you want, and then you can switch independently through the different colors. But of course you can also just use the white or just use the color. So that's a very good thing they made here. It's just a question of understanding how to switch them and each and every manufacturer, each and every light model actually is different there. And of course depending on what you're buying you need to understand that before using it. Now as I already told you, also the power indicator you can see here, and at the moment it's green, thankfully fully charged, and thank you very much, I actually just turned red, so probably was not fully charged my battery, but now you can see that the power indicator is going red, and this is a nice indicator to let you know that the battery is soon empty. This one actually flashes, when it arrives at around 10-15% it starts to flash, I had this during the dive, and at a certain moment it's gonna turn off. Now. To let you know one more thing actually, and this is a very nice thing because we have, we or we are using a video light and usually a video light is not something that you use just in one hand, depending of course what you do, but usually you're going to use it on some kind of setup with a camera, GoPro or similar type of camera, action camera, etc. So here actually we have a mounting hole with a standard tripod screwing system where you can buy an additional, like a ball joint mount or a YS mount depending on what kind of system you're using of course, and where you can for a very cheap type of money get an adapter or let's say it, the piece you actually need to then make this light a ball joint mounted light. This is maybe one of the things they could include eventually, but this is of course going to make the light more expensive and for those who don't need this, maybe it doesn't make any sense to add it. Now guys, I think we already talked enough about the actual D30 from X-Star and I would suggest that we're going to jump into the water and we're going to check out how this beauty, and I say it again, I really like that light, how this beauty performs underwater. So let's go. Alright guys, so here we are again. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an underwater demonstration of the X-Star D30 1600 lumens um, video light in this case. We've been also using a little bit the colors, although underwater it's always very hard to see the colors because I mean, the colors you use more for small macro things, smaller things nearby. The big, stronger light is actually more used if you're filming underwater. At least that's my experience. Now guys, one or a few pros and cons about the light which I always like to give at the end of my videos. First of all, pros small light, 
relatively small considering you can use the 26650s. You have a nice magnetic switch with a locking mechanism which I really like. I miss it on many other um, magnetic lights in this case, magnetic switch lights. We have a nice power indicator which also many lights in this type of size don't really offer so it's a good thing that they have it. And also you have a nice setup of LEDs with a lot of color options. You have a nice type of mounting system where you can mount either a YS, ball joint or whatever you need and buying it aftermarket or not with the light so that's a good thing you're very flexible with that and it's a good thing that you don't need to get those special clamps or so on you can use this um, mounting hole in this case which is already pre manufactured in the light and now coming to the actual cons this is something which depends and i always say this in terms of beam angle as well as in terms of intensity of light this always depends on what you want and what you need but here actually i personally would have enjoyed seeing something like an xhp 50 instead of the 35 to just give us a little bit more light because we have quite a big uh, big light and if you're only using this light for the white yeah it's already a little bit too bulky yeah, if considering you have everything it's super good yeah but for just the white i have seen smaller lines which output the same type of power so maybe for the next models next generations it would be interesting to have a light which looks more or less like this but just upgrade the white LED to have maybe an XHP 50 or I wouldn't say a 70 but maybe a 50 and just get a little bit more like around 500 lumens or something like around that 600 800 lumens more out of it so we have a little bit more light for the videos this is the only thing I really have to say in terms of negative things you have a nice magnetic switch and this is just a quick recommendation of mine remember to wash this out after every dive so put it in fresh water press the switch a few times to make sure there is no salt water in case you went diving in salt water remaining inside of this compartment so that's maybe a good thing and maybe a little bit of a recommendation I can give you. Guys, just to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert, I also got a smaller X-Star light. And this video is coming up in a few days, so stay tuned so you don't miss out on that smaller XD, uh, X-Star D20 diving light. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video in general. I hope to see you soon again on my channel. And until then, I always wish you safe and good dives. See you then.